This presentation may contain language and scenes which may be objectionable to certain individuals. Viewer discretion is advised. Did you ever see that scene in Scanners when that dude's head blew up? Underdogs, it's Saturday, it's 10 o'clock, it's time to party! As always, I'm your excellent host, Macho Mike. I have a very special episode of Macho Movies this week. It's the 30th anniversary of one of the most excellent movies ever! You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll hurl! It's Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party time, excellent! <laughs> I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, Scaramouche, will you do the fandango? Thunderbolt and lightning. Just outside of Chicago. Galileo. 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 In the basement of this house. It's Wade's World, Wade's World, party time, excellent. Broadcast history is about to be made. Extreme close up. Whoa! I want you to find out who these guys are and where they do their show. What is this? Mr. Vanderhoff, this is your audience. It's two chimps on a Davenport in a basement. Here I am with the contract for $5,000. Excuse me? Now they're on their way. No way. Way. To fame. Will you still love me when I'm in my carbohydrate sequin jumpsuit? Young girls in white cotton panties, bloated, purple, dead on a toilet face? To fortune. Contractor knows. I will not bow to any sponsor. To babe heaven. What do you do if every time you see this one incredible woman, you, you think you're gonna hurl? I say hurl. If you blow chunks and she comes back, she's yours. If you spew and she bolts, it was never meant to be. Okay. It's Wade. This is definitely the type of place I'm gonna get when I move out of my parents' house. It's God. I love you, God. If she were a president, she'd be Abraham Lincoln. It's a movie. We're not Wayne's World. Hi, Wayne. It just might be the greatest motion picture ever made. Are you mental? Be as a as the devil put aside for me, for me. Wayne's World. I haven't seen this in like. 20 years or something, but it's still good! Penelope Spheris did an excellent job directing this. And she's a big metalhead herself. She even turned down the chance to direct Spinal Tap because she didn't want to make fun of heavy metal. And I think Wayne's World does the heavy metal community proud, not only with the movie itself, but with the soundtrack, too. Now, I may be a little biased here, so I decided to call in a fellow headbanger for a second opinion. You may have seen him on the internet before. He's the host of my favorite heavy metal review show, The Metal Meltdown. I give you Robert Walton. Hello, hello, everyone. My name is Robert Walton. I am the host of The Metal Meltdown here on YouTube, and I am here to tell you all about the official soundtrack to Wayne's World, a 1992 blockbuster comedy starring Mike Myers and Dana Carvey, which I'm assuming by this point in the video, Macho Mike has already told you all about. I've loved Wayne's World for as long as I can remember. I'm pretty sure I even remember renting this at a blockbuster with my dad 
When I was just a wee little baboo baby, me and Wayne's World, we go way back. Like, we're tight. We're buddies. I know it well. And I know the soundtrack pretty well, too. And, yeah, it's it's a really good soundtrack. Now, that shouldn't be shocking, considering the sheer amount of iconic rock talent on it. I mean, you've got Eric Clapton, Alice Cooper, Jimi Hendrix, Queen, Soundgarden, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and many, 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 many more. And that's just talking about the music on the soundtrack itself. That's not including the boatloads of material included in the film itself that is not featured on said official album soundtrack. I bet what you didn't realize, maybe not until this point at least, is that the Wayne's World soundtrack unintentionally, but nonetheless, acts as a time capsule of everything weird and cool and fascinating about the changing rock scene in the early 90s. It perfectly cements that transitionary period from like the 80s obsession with like pop metal and glam to the 90s obsession with grunge and alternative rock and such. I mean, you've got Cinderella and the Bullet Boys and, and stuff like that. But, you know, you also have the aforementioned Soundgarden and the Red Hot Chili Peppers. In fact, you have a song from Temple of the Dog featured in the film. I like that we get to see something weirder thrown into the mix as well, like Everything About You from Ugly Kid Joe, also not featured on the soundtrack, but it is featured in the film, and it is a great song, so I will bring it up. A lot of other big names and hit songs attach this, like you've got Foxy Lady from Jimi Hendrix, you've got Lovin' Your Lovin' from Eric Clapton, Bohemian Rhapsody from Queen, which I'm sure, as you may remember, is featured in a, a particularly iconic opening sequence from Wayne's World, which remains pretty goddamn <laughs> awesome to this day. There's also a re-recorded version of Dreamweaver from Gary Wright, which is like the quintessential 1980s high school, middle school prom slow dance song. It's cheesy. I kind of love it, though. And there's also Feed My Frankenstein featuring Alice Cooper, parts of the music video for which are actually shown in the film. Alice Cooper himself does make a, a more official cameo. What I bet you didn't know is that there are some other big names contained within this song. Namely, Joe Satriani and Steve Vai sharing guitar duties, and Motley Crue's Nikki Six on bass guitar. Even one Cassandra Peterson, aka Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, makes an appearance contributing some guest vocals on this thing. Pretty rad. Pretty cool. The song itself? Kinda dumb. Kinda stupid. But in a really rad, really cool kind of way. Heavy metal icons and pioneers Black Sabbath even contribute an original track to this album, Time Machine, which some super diehard Black Sabbath fanboys and followers may recognize as a bonus track from 1992's Dehumanizer. Yeah, something new, something different, something you can't find on a, on a ton of Black Sabbath releases to this day, unless you travel back in time and pick up the US deluxe edition of Dehumanizer. Pretty cool. Pretty rad. Now, I do find myself wishing that more of the music recorded by Tia Carrere as the character of Cassandra Wong in Wayne's World was featured in the soundtrack. But I mean, I can't really argue, I suppose. It's still like a, a good solid chunk of everything she did as Cassandra Wong featured in the film. The actual Wayne's World theme also does appear, albeit extended. I enjoyed it. It's well-made, it's diverse, it's fun, even when it's stupid. I would feel comfortable with a very enthusiastic 3.5 out of 5, leaning towards a 4 out of 5. Thank you, Macho Mike, for having me on the channel today. It's been a blast. Check out the movie and the soundtrack if you have not already. Also, subscribe to Macho Mike's channel and mine if you have not already. And as always, you have yourself a fantastic <laughs> day. All right, excellent review, Robert. Go check him out in the Metal Meltdown. But first, check out the Macho Meter for Wayne's World. We already mentioned the majorly headbanging soundtrack. And there's Breaking the Fourth Wall and the Mirthmobile. Not to be outdone, Rob Lowe has that GTO red convertible. And Tia Carrere kicks ass in this one. And so does Alice Cooper with a history lesson. You've also got Achieving Your Dreams, Learning a New Language, Turning the Villain to Your Side, Revenge Against Your Enemies, Gratuitous Band t-shirts, and there's even a Police Academy movie reference. 
And we got street hockey, headbanging, barroom brawling, machine gunning, flame throwing, champagne sipping, TV transmitting. I know something about that. Ninjutsu and donut jutsu. Body count is zero. Well, nobody's perfect. Rough night, huh? Everybody's kung fu fighting. I just wanted to remind you to check out my website, machomike.tv. You can find videos like this, links to all my social media, and even buy some macho merch too. That web address again, machomike.tv. It's not just excellent, it's macho. I did not realize that. Yeah. Russell, did you realize that? No, I did not realize that. All right, that's all the time I have for this week. You've been great, I've been Macho Mike, and until next time, good night, party on, and keep it macho.